hello students welcome to my class today <coughs> i'm going to discuss a poem the name of the poem is animals written by walter whitman and this is extract from leaves of grass written by walter whitman in this poem walter whitman tried to draw a line of comparison between humans and animals and after drawing the line of comparison he found that animals are far better than humans that's why he tells us that he feels more at home that means he feels more comfortable with animals than humans and he finds animal simple and placid on the contrary he finds humans as complicated and false here in the poem <coughs> we'll find his discussion his comparison and what he wants to say us as readers what lesson we'll get after reading the poem we'll understand this so let's start <coughs> i think i could turn and live with animals they are so placid and self contained i stand and look at them long and long <coughs> i think poet walter whitman is saying that he thinks that he could transform himself from humans to animals simply he has not said this because he wants to transform himself from humans to animals why because he found that animals are so placid and self contained animals are very simple and they are self contained means what they are self sufficient they are not dependent on others for everything i stand and look at them long and long here he he says he stands and look at the animals not for a short span of time but for a long span of time he just stands and look at the animals long and long that means again and again he stands and look at the animals why he looks at the animal again and again what are the things attracted him to look at them again and again what are the features that forced him to stand and look at the animals again and again <coughs> are <coughs> described now they do not sweat and whine about their condition <coughs> animals they do not sweat and whine sweat and whine means what it's a phrase it's it means hard work another thing to make complain so they do not do hard work to develop their condition or in another word we can say that they do not make complain because of their condition they have the condition presently for that humans what humans say because of my <coughs> <coughs> sorry because of my parents my condition is like this today because of my friend my condition is like this because of my neighbors this is my condition so we make a lot of complaints the animals they never make any complaint for their condition and other sense humans do a lot of hard work to reach a condition to go to a position animals do not do they do not do hard work to reach a position or to get their condition better 
they do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins <coughs> animals they do not lie awake at night in the dark means what at night and weep for their sins and they never weep for their sins because they have never committed sins why will they weep for their sins human they commit sins and because of that they cannot sleep at night they com they commit sins because of that they cannot sleep at night and they lie awake and weep for their sins what have they done what will be its consequences they have to think all those things and they cannot sleep at night but animals they have never committed mistakes they have never committed sins that's why they never lie awake at night and they never weep for their sins also so here we got already we have got two qualities those are far better than human beings and because of that walter whitman the poet wants to turn himself into animals they do not make me sick discussing their duty to god very important line <clears throat> the animals they do not make me sick that means they do not make the poet sick discussing their duty to god humans they discuss everything their duties to god to their friends to others what they have to do what they have not to do all those things i have to do this otherwise god will punish me if i do if i do not do this then i have to go to hell if i do this then god will reward me all those things these are uh, the duties to god people are busy humans are busy in discussing all those things but they never discuss all those things because the duty what has been prescribed to them they are performing regularly they have not to discuss all those things they have not to beat their drums about their duty to god on the contrary what humans do they just beat their drums regarding the duty to god and that makes the poet sick he doesn't like this your duty to god it is your matter you are to perform it you are to do it no problem you do it why do you discuss all those things to others why do you make that means others feel uh, sad because of you it's not the matter here also the poet finds that animals are far better than human beings they never make anybody sick regarding the discussion of their duty to god not one is dissatisfied not one is demented with the mania of warning things not a single animal is dissatisfied every now and then in every step of our life we will find that all the human beings each and every one they are dissatisfied someone is dissatisfied because of his condition someone else is dissatisfied because of his friends someone else is dissatisfied because because of his because of his family members and we'll find someone else who is dissatisfied because of his wealth so every everywhere in every part of the world in every nook and corner of the world we'll find people who are dissatisfied but here the poet is saying that animals not a single animal is dissatisfied because of his condition because of his present situation not one is demented with the mania of owning things not a single animal have the phobia of owning things humans have the phobia humans have this this is a kind of disease also <coughs> we know that human wants are and that means uncontrolled human wants are unlimited they want everything today uh, i i want uh, 5000 rupees i have got 5000 then tomorrow i need 20000 tomorrow if i if if i get uh, 20000 then i will be in need of 1 lakh so human needs are unlimited human wants are unlimited they always want something more to make possession with if a human being sees that that means another one has something more than him so 
it will become a disease in his mind in his heart to get the same thing like that or to get something better than that this is a phobia humans are uh, that means involved in this kind of phobias but animals are not they are not demented with the mania of owning things they don't want to make the uh, possession of so many things because they know that god had sent them in this world and one day will come when they have to go to god so the transitory life what is here it is it is it is not full of it should not be full of wealth and enjoyment etc they realize this one that's why they are not demented with the mania of owning things but humans they do not understand the reality they do not do not understand the fact they think that this world is everything here they have to do whatever they want to do that's why they are involved in the phobia of owning things this is a great phobia this is a great disease we all should take ourselves away from this kind of things because this may ruin our future this may ruin our life this may ruin our relationship this may ruin our peace of mind so we should not be like that whatever we have we have to be consoled with that the consolation should be there in our mind that this is the god's wish this is allah's wish allah wants to give me this much god wants to give me this much that's why i have got this you are to try but you are not to be involved in phobia of owning things from others you are not to be involved in antisocial elements in antisocial things to to earn wealth to earn money whatever has been given allah knows better god knows better that what is better for you that's why he has given you that much <coughs> we should not be very much greedy we should not hanker after wealth always we are here in this world not for earning money only not for uh, earning name and fame only we are here to make our life we are here to make an example for others how to live in this world and when we will be there in front of god when we will be there in front of our creator we can answer him that you have you you sent us in the world and we showed people the perfect path to come to you but humans have forgotten this one they are always running after money they are always running after name and fame they are ready to do anything because of money they are ready to do anything even they can kill their family members even father can kill his son son can kill his father mother can kill his son a lady can kill her husband husband can kill his wife because of money and power this should not be the motto of human beings that's why you know oh, poet walter whitman he says that he doesn't want to live with humans he rather he wants to live with animals they are far better than human beings because they do not do these things they do not have the greediness to earn money they do not have the greediness to earn name and fame they do not hate others because of wealth and name and fame we human beings naturally god has given us the our creator has given us some special features that that takes up ourselves to the top but because of our behavior because of our activities we are taking us down and animals are going up <coughs> we should be very careful about all those things not one kneels to another nor to his kind that live thousands of years ago another thing the poet is saying that not a single animal kneels to another animal this is a very common thing to our human society to i uh, uh, that means to get something simply we kneel down to someone else to make himself him uh, to, to make the person happy we kneels in front of him we kneels down in front of him we bow, we bow down in front of 
him but animals they do not do another quality is there <coughs> the great man who lived hundreds of years ago thousands of years ago we <coughs> human beings bow down in front of them we kneel down in front of them but animals do not do they think that they are all equal they are all equal no not a single one is much respected not a single one is much, much wealthy not a single one is higher than others all are equal equality is the uh, that means is the song of animal society they all are equal they do not kneel down to another one even they do not kneel down to those who lived hundreds of years ago but human beings do this they kneel uh, they kneel down to somebody else to get something more he kneels down to somebody else to make him happy or he kneels down to those people who lived hundreds of years ago to make them happy that their souls will be happier in the heaven animals do not do this is another reason for walter whitman to uh, turn himself to the animal society he doesn't want to live with animals uh, he doesn't want to live with humans he rather he wants to live with animals because they have this quality also not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth <clears throat> here came the real thing not a single animal is respectable that means in their society they do not uh, specify somebody as he is the most respectable one as he is the president as he is the secretary not like that animals they are animals all are equal not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole world whole earth or not a single animal is unhappy over the whole earth this is a great thing every single human being in this world you ask you will find that everyone is dissatisfied everyone is unhappy on the earth my idea is that art should be uh, governed in this way art should art should go in this way the whole earth should be ruled in such a way your idea is different his idea is different then somebody else idea is different and all the earth is going on in his own way the government is running the government uh, country in his own way so we think something different and happens something different because of that we are unhappy animals they do not think differently that's why they are not unhappy they are happy even they are happy over the whole earth because they think that they have got the opportunity to live on this earth they have to utilize the opportunity at the fullest that's why they are happy but we people we human beings we do not think like that we think that it is our right to come to come, come to this earth no no brothers and sisters it, it was not our right god had sent us our creator had sent us to this earth and we are to live according to his wishes according to his formulas the way how he is ruling the whole earth we have to be happy with that we should not be unhappy with the situation this quality of animals of remaining happy over the whole earth makes the poet that means attracted towards animal society he says that this is one of the reason for which he wants to turn himself to an animal society and live with them because he finds the good qualities are much more with the animals than humans so they show their relations to me and i accept them because of all those qualities what we uh, discussed earlier the poet is saying that because of these qualities the animals show a relationship with me because i am also a human being that means the poet walter whitman he is also a human being but he has separated himself from other humans because the qualities what he discussed are there with animals these qualities are there with him also and now he is saying that because of these qualities he finds some relation between him and animals <clears throat> and he accept the relation also the relation what he and he possesses and and the relation the animals possess 
have some that means uniformity and because of this uniformity the poet Walter Whitman accepts it and wants to live with them not with humans they bring me tokens of myself they evince they evince them plainly in their position why why the poet accept the relation between him and animals because the animals bring him the tokens of himself means what the animals show him the quality of humans what walter whitman was thinking that these qualities will make a perfect human being not a single quality he finds with human beings rather he finds all those qualities with animals that's why he is saying that these animals bring him tokens tokens means what these good qualities these good qualities what should be there with an, a human beings but they are not there with human beings now rather they are there with animals and those animals they bring these good qualities to the poet they show from their activities they show from their day to day life they show from their manner behavior that the good qualities are there with them what should be there with animals uh, what should be there with uh, uh, human beings but now these qualities are not there with human beings they have that means the animals have accepted all those qualities so plainly in their possession that means they are using this one they are implementing all those those human features in their lives that's why they are now superior to human beings the human qualities the qualities which make us human the the, the qualities those uh, separate us from others the qualities which distinguish ourselves as human beings we have forgotten all those things and animals have accepted all those qualities that's why in present scenario animals and animals are much more higher than human beings in position and this attracts the poet walter whitman he wants to turn himself into animals and live with them he doesn't want to live with human beings beings because humans have already forgotten their values human humans have already forgotten their qualities for what they they are called as humans i wonder where they get those tokens did i pass that huge time ago and negligently drop them now he is saying that he he wonders he is shocked he is surprised where the animals have got those two camps now they are showing me that means now they are um, showcasing from their activities from their behavior the, those good qualities those should have been there with human beings from where they have got all those things he is surprised the poet walter whitman is surprised the qualities those should have been there with human beings now these qualities are there with animals so it's it's a simple thing anyone will be surprised so he is also surprised to see these good qualities with animals he thinks that the where is the place from where they have collected these tokens now he is thinking that a question a curiosity came to his mind he wants to know that did i pass did i pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them he thinks that whether he had passed he means what animal a uh, human beings he means what here human beings whether human beings had passed in this way huge time ago that means long time ago they passed in this way and dropped those tokens that means the way in which the animals are running now animals are walking now animals are following the following the way the same way people were following so many years ago human beings were following so many years ago they had these good qualities they had some unique features that's why they have been called as the superior of all the animals poet thinks that huge time ago uh, either people had walked 
through the, that way and they had dropped these qualities or he had forgotten why he does not know. That means, he is in confusion how the animals are showcasing the special qualities which should have been there with animals uh, which should have been there with humans from where they have collected all those good qualities. They are animals, they are not humans. How have they collected? The reason came to his mind. The, these good qualities should have been dropped by animals, the, dropped by human beings. Where? Now he started remembering. A question came to him in his mind. The, uh, whether I have passed in this way for a long time ago and whether I had dropped all those qualities and forgotten, negligently dropped. That means, uh, I had dropped these qualities. I, ha I, have, I, I have never cared for that also. Sometimes what happens? Uh, I, if, my, if from my pocket, a uh, 2000 rupee note has been fallen. So, I become so curious, so cautious. Where is it? How? Uh, that means, I have to find it anywhere. Anyhow, I have to find it. I have to do whatever things is needed but sometimes if a 5 rupee coin has fallen from my pocket i don't care about it we all don't care about that means what the 2 rupee 2000 rupee note is more valuable that's why we are giving more value to it we are we, we, we are becoming serious about that and 5 rupee coin is not that much valuable to us that's why we are not bothering about that the same thing happened with humans. They have dropped their best qualities, their humanitarian qualities because of which they are called as human beings. They are considered as the superior of all the animals. They have dropped these, but they are not bothering about that. That means they are, neg they are avoiding all those things. That means they are so much negligent. Negligently they have dropped the good qualities. That's why animals have accepted. If they were not negligent, they were serious, accident, accidents take place. But we can rectify it. Once it has been dropped from me, I can rectify it from my, uh, through my behavior, through my activities. But negligently I have dropped it. I never cared about it. I lived my own life according to my own way. What is humanitarian qualities? What is humanitarian values? I have forgotten. What as a human I have to do for other human? I have forgotten. What I have to do uh, for animals as human being? I have forgotten all those things. Negligently I have I had forgotten. Those were there. Those qualities were there with ancient human beings. With the human beings of earlier generations. They were so good. They were so placid. They were so self-contained. Now, these qualities has been accepted by these qualities have been accepted by animals, and they have they have kept us away in good qualities. They think about their fellow beings, but humans we do not think about our fellow human being. We are always ready to kill somebody. Guns are there, bombs are there. We are ready to kill somebody for my personal benefit animals they do not do this one this quality what was there with human beings that earlier pe people were placid peaceful self-contained they were not so selfish because of their own selfishness they never killed anybody earlier now in present human society what is happening human have become beasts they are like animals because uh, that means from their activities from their insane works we just feel that this human being doesn't have humanity in his mind doesn't have humanity in his heart he is like an animal and from the activities of animals when we find that a, a dog a wounded dog uh, on the road another dog is uh, providing food to him another dog is bringing something for him so from that we understood that this we understand that the dog has the quality to help his own fellow being the dog is doing a lot to feed his fellow being he doesn't want 
his fellow being he doesn't want his another friend dog to die simply we should understand that this quality should have been there with humans but we do not do we are living peacefully with my, our families we are a, taking a lot of things we are buying fruits we are buying plots but we never think that my neighbor the who lives next to my house i never think about him what is he doing how is he feeding his children what is he buying whether they have plots or not this is humanity this is called called humanity because of these qualities we were considered as the superior of all all animals now we have forgotten all those things and animals have accepted all the qualities for which the poet walter whitman wants to turn himself into animals and live with them he feels more comfortable with them because they have the humanitarian quality we are human beings we have to bring back our qualities we have to start implementing our good qualities we have to start practicing our good qualities to consider ourselves as good human beings a generation will come when people will be civilized they will realize that the people of earlier generation that means our generation we me and you readers your generation they will think about us and they will think that they were so inhumane what they did thousands of people were killed lakhs of people were killed why a human uh, a group of human being is killing another group of human being why because of small small tiny tiny matters the next generation the generation the generation next to the next generation they will think about we people about our generation about present generation and they will curse us so we have the time we can rectify ourselves we can bring back the good qualities what we had and we can start practicing this one in the society to bring back our own value in the society walter whitman had written the poem with the intention that after reading this poem the conscience of human beings will be alive and they will start thinking that yes we did some mistake we had dropped our good qualities we had to rectify our mistake we had to accept our good qualities we had to bring back our good qualities and we had to start it practicing in the society with that intention he had written and i also hope that all my students and all the viewers who are watching this video they will start practicing the good qualities humanitarian qualities what made us human one day will come whole world will be peaceful we'll find uh, we'll find everywhere people are living peacefully not a single news of chaos not a single news of <coughs> communal disharmony will be there this is a dream and a dream will come true if we all start practicing our humanitarian qualities in our day to day activities with that the discussion of the poem is over my dear students the questions and answers are already there with you so i am urging all of you to memorize the question answers go through the question answer again and again it will be memorized by you if you go through the question answer again and again because the theme of the poem the wordings of the poem you have understood the summary of the poem also you have understood what the uh, poet wants to say through the poem that one also you have understood so you go through the poem uh, again and again go through the question and answers again and again you will get it then also i hope there will be no problem but then also if you face any problem you are, you feel free to text me i'll be there for you to answer everything with that i'm going to conclude my today's class thank you